Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the fundamental difference between the serial sort and the parallel sort provided by the Java API Java Util arrays. So what is serial sort? Serial sort is a method which is provided by java.util.arrays utility class where uh, we pass arrays as, as, as an as argument and it sorts the arrays in alphabetical order or the order which we provide as a comparator in the argument. So why do we call it as a serial sort? Basically this serial sort uses either the merge sort or the trim sort in the back end. So what is merge sort? Merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. It divides your arrays into multiple small parts and then sort each and each and every individual part one by one and then keeps on merging the sorted arrays to get the final array. But all this task of dividing the arrays and the merging arrays is done in, in a sequential manner. So you can say that there are only one thread which is used to divide the whole thread, uh, whole uh, array into small parts and then for merging part the only one single thread is used. So this is all done sequentially. Even though merge sort uses divide and conquer technique, but it's all done sequentially. Now, what about parallel sort? The fundamental difference between the serial sort and the par parallel sort comes into rescue when we talk about single thread and multiple thread. So parallel sort uses multi-threading. It's faster when we need to sort lots of elements present in an array. But it doesn't perform well when you have array size as small because uh, the time consumed are comparatively, comparatively equal. So this method uses a threshold value and any area of size lesser than the threshold value sorted using arrays.sort which is the sequential sorting. And if the size of the array is more than some threshold value, then it is used, it is sorted by the parallel sort. So this is kind of comparison between the number of elements and the time it takes in serial sort and the parallel sort. So now you can see that in this starting, serial sort is taking when the number of elements are less, serial sort takes less, uh, less time as compared to parallel sort. But as soon as the number of elements keeps on increasing the, in the array, serial sort does not perform well as compared to parallel sort. And parallel sort comes to the rescue and it takes optimal time to sort the arrays. So the uh, you can see the, from the from this analysis that parallel sort takes less time when the number of elements are huge but when the number of elements are less then it is always better to use the serial sort over the parallel sort although in the back end as well parallels if you are using parallel sort method it uses the serial sort in the back end if the number of elements are less as come and if the number of elements are high in the array then it divides the number of elements into small parts then uses uh, the serial sort and then merges them to get the final sorted array. So let's see this in example. So first of all, let's see how the serial sort works. So uh, we, I have created a very simple main program where I have created a arrays util method which 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 has a very small method get random array where we where we pass the number of elements to be populated in the array and it fills the array with the number random values ranging from 0 to 999999 so in this program, I have created an array with several number of elements present into that. 
and then we are iterating each and every array and sorting that using arrays.sort method so this is the method which we are using and then we will calculate how much time it has taken to sort so let's run this program so you can see as the number of elements are increasing it's sorting time increasing which is obvious So number of elements are increasing and the time in milliseconds is getting printed. After the ex example, we'll see how the parallel sort work and how much time that takes to, to sort huge arrays. So this program is over and it has taken the maximum time as 13 seconds let's run another program which uses parallel sort the sort similar array So this is just a simple program which runs and shows the time and the number of elements present in the array and the time taken to sort them. Now let's use both uh, let's use both the sorting uh, sorting methods and compare their timings. So I have written one more program where we are using same we using the same array to sort using different methods one is the sort and another is the parallel sort and let's compare how much time uh, both both the arrays are taking so you can say when the number of elements were 1000 then both the arrays serial sort and the parallel sort took 0 milliseconds when the number of elements were 10000 then the serial sort took less less time but the parallel sort took higher time that is 8 milliseconds again for more number of elements the serial sort took less time and the parallel sort took higher time but as soon as the number of elements increased again here is the trigger point right now the serial sort is taking more time and the parallel sorts are taking less time and now this continues like more number of elements are there then serial sort is taking more time and the parallel sort takes less time in even the for these number of elements it takes only 6.6 .6 seconds the but the parallel sort takes 3.2 seconds so you can you can clearly say that for less number of elements serial sort is better and for higher number of elements where you know that your arrays is going to have millions of millions of records then probably you should go for the parallel sort now what is the drawback of parallel sort you have just seen the benefit of parallel sort that it takes it consumes less time but what is the drawback of that now let's i i also i introduce one more size of the array which is double nine double nine double nine and double nine and now run the program to start you will find excellent conclusion on it Oops, what is this? Out of memory error? 
Java his heap space. Why so? But if I run with the same number of elements in serial serial sort, it runs well. All that takes higher time, but it, does, it doesn't show me any any space related issues, or it doesn't show the Java doc Java heap space error. Then what what is going on behind? Can you think about it? See, serial sort ran successfully without any any heap space error issue. So the the fundamental issue with the parallel sort is like since it runs in the parallel threads, so obviously if the parallel threads are running simultaneously, then they are going to consume more space to basically save their temporary arrays and then sorting them. That is why if the number of elements are more and more, then there is obviously you will get the get the benefit of time sort uh, time in, in terms of sorting, but uh, in terms of RAM or the memory utilization would be higher. So always keep this point in mind whenever you are going to use the parallel sort or the sort or the serial sort. So, in a nutshell, what is the uh, fundamental difference with differences between serial sort and the parallel sort? The method which we use is uh, arrays dot sort, and for the parallel sort, we use arrays dot parallel sort. So, this parallel sort has been introduced in the recent Java release, which is Java 1.8. Serial sort is a sequential sorting. Parallel sort is a parallel sorting. Serial sort uses single thread model for its operation, but parallel sort uses multiple threads. Serial sort takes bit longer time to perform the operation as it is it is single threaded. Parallel sort takes lesser time as compared to the serial sort. Parallel sort uses fork join common pool methodology to execute the parallel task task. For references, you can refer these links for more details. And thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can post in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get further updates about new videos.